Well, here they come out onto the field of play. The recurve women's gold medal match coming up right away. India facing Chinese Taipei. Let's go down for the team introductions. Athletes introduced, Ankita Bakat starts for India, the 24-year-old is the world number 25. She lines up with Samranji Kaur, the 23-year-old is the world number 185. And of course, the world number three, Deepika Kumari, completes that lineup. Chinese Taipei have Kuo Tzu Ying, the 19-year-old world number 33. Lei Qin Ying, the world number 18. And Peng Xiaomao, the world number 43. Well, the athletes prepare for the start of the match. It's time to go for gold here. The women's team recurve. Stage three of the Hyundai Archery World Cup and it's Chinese Taipei who will go first. So Nikki, and now we've got the captions up with the scoring system. Can you just Talk us through how the set system works. Absolutely. So it's the best of four sets. There are six arrows, two per athlete in each set. They can alternate. So each team can shoot one each and switch and repeat that again. And then we are looking for a five to take a win. If it goes to four four, it'll be a tie. Peng shooting it into the ten. Chinese Taipei go through their first rotation with a 29. So self-contained scores within each set is what we're looking for. No. The peak of Kumari finding the center of the target. Communication is so crucial, shooting over seventy meters. Yeah, that's right, the Indian team, they're just discussing, you know, where those arrows landed, making little adjustments in their sights. Really good conditions today, hardly any wind at all. Again, for Chinese Taipei. Good group. All in the nine, though, just a little high. Target a 56 set. India can afford to drop one point and share the set points, but that's it. And that an Indian fan is a problem they can no longer get to 56 so the first two set points already with Chinese Taipei Nikki it's always a struggle when you know the sets gone what's going through the mind of the athletes at this point 
No. Yeah, I mean, they might not be fully aware. You're just going up there and shooting your process. Um, but if you, even if you are aware, it's just a chance now to shoot a good shot, make sure your sight's set, and uh, be ready for the next set. Oh, Topeka Kamari looking very good. Two tens for her, and now look at her. She's just sharing the knowledge with her teammates. Yeah, it's really important, isn't it? Nice positivity within the team, smiles. That's exactly what they need to get themselves back into this. So the thing about the set system is, OK, that set's gone, it's over, but this is a fresh set coming up now, and they've got to get back into it. We get a good look at uh, what the archers go through. All about consistency in your process. Peng settles into full draw really quickly, doesn't she? Yeah, we see that a lot in some of the best, um, particularly Asian archers who have a very simple process, straight into anchor, keep the shot moving. Recurve's very dynamic, you don't want to stop, just slowly, slowly keep moving those last phases of execution. The Indian team on the right hand side there, sharing the knowledge between them, trying to prepare themselves for the second set. They'll be keen to get on the scoreboard at the very least. Set number two of the Recurve Women's Team gold medal match. Chinese Taipei leading India two set points to nil. Nikita back at on the shooting line. No. Right. Well, hits the line between the eight and the nine. So as I'm sure you all know, that means the archer gets the higher score. No. No. Again, just discussing, aren't they, where those arrows are going? They've got the coach in the box there, the scope making any adjustments they need to send it a little bit better. So Crow leading out the line with a 10, handing over to Lei. Really long hold there, and you could see it was a struggle just to get through the clicker, but fairly decent shot into the nine. <laughs> Lots of communication between the Chinese Taipei athletes, almost constant talk. No. Just clipped the line there. Yeah, another 10 from Topeka Kumari. Instead of 56, so a two point 
potential advantage for Chinese Taipei if they hit three tens. Yeah, just looking at the front hands of some of these archers, there's quite some different uh, grip positions. This one here is quite unusual, really, with the front finger almost off the bow as well. So have a look at the different grip positions. You know, everyone's got different shape hands, so slight differences. Well, now the pressure switches to Chinese Taipei. Peng here needs a 10 to level up with India. <laughs> she hits it. What a tremendous shot that was from Peng. It means they share the set points in the second set. India are off the mark with a single point, but Chinese Taipei maintain their two-point lead on the halfway stage of the regulation set system. Well, just confirming the scores there. See that left eight, which uh, lay shot with a second arrow. Very calm from Topeka Kumari. Lays the interesting one for me, Nikki, because her bow hand. Is, her fingers are on the move as she's shooting. Yeah, they are. Sometimes that can be a little bit of nervousness, I guess, um, being shown externally. So, yeah, keep a lookout for that and just see if it changes, if it's the same every time. It'd be interesting. So, Chinese Taipei going 2 0 up after set number one. Sharing the points with India in the second set. Still lead by 3 1. So, potentially. Chinese Taipei could do this if they win this set. You're watching the gold medal match in the recurve women's team competition here in Paris at the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. India to shoot first in set number three. Good shot. <laughs> Ranji Kaur. No. She hasn't got a medal, or a major medal, on the World Cup stage. Kaur, but uh, we'll get one after today, whatever happens. a little twitchy to me, Nikki. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Just wanted to be nice and smooth, keep moving, but India just haven't really found the middle as much as they need to here. This is such high level. I mean, I know it's 70 metres away and, you know, the, the 10 is about the size of a DVD, if you can remember those, but oh, no. you've got to be in there a little bit more. In these conditions, it's so good out there. As you can see, advantage very much with Chinese Taipei. They look happy with it. It's uh, in their hands, whatever India shoot here. But like you say, Nikki, they've got to start hitting the tens, haven't they? Yeah, they really need to. They need to put the pressure on Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Let's look at the front arm here. Has, as she draws, she has a lovely rotation of her front elbow. Didn't quite see it in that picture, but look for it another time. Just so the el elbow's out of the way. And the string has good clearance. Yeah, that's her best shot so far. 
terms of score at least. Looking for another 10 to finish off the set. Just dropping into the nine. So, a five point cushion here for Chinese Taipei. And really, with three hours left, you've got to expect they're gonna do this. The fingers moving. <laughs> Hits a 10. So a six to share the set points, seven or more, and Chinese Taipei have gold. Hits a high nine, that's more than enough for the five points they need to take the win here and the gold medal here in Paris. Chinese Taipei beating India, five set points to one, and the Indians have done well to get here, beating Great Britain and Turkey en route. But today, Chinese Taipei were just too good. Nicky, you kind of sensed it. You, you said early, earlier on by the second set, uh, Chinese Taipei were just getting into the middle of the target a lot more. And to be fair, India really, well, they just they stepped up in terms of score. But they didn't get close to Chinese Taipei today.